Shalom Akim. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhar Kwadash, Thumb, Double honors to our apostles and elders, the Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the Akim that's doing his work in truth and sincerity. And, uh, you know, as we all know, you know, um, they had put uh, a ban on um, Alex Jones here, you know, on uh, the different um, media outlets, mainstream, okay? Um, you know, we're coming into that time, man, where they're going to uh, silence this word, you know? And um, I just wanted to read uh, this. This is the follow-up, actual follow-up to the initial uh, ban. But I just want to read uh, uh, the uh, narrative that's being uh, uh, painted now real quick, okay? So it reads, just a few days before Jones ban, journalist Matt Taibbi wrote a piece in Rolling Stone about the slippery slope of Facebook censorship. Okay, so this is um, a journalist from uh, Rolling Stone, okay? So he wrote before this ban took place. He said... These corporations, he said, have their hands on what is essentially a direct lever over nationwide news distribution. It's hard to understate the potential mischief that lurks behind this union of internet platforms that would be government censors, he wrote. Right? Make no mistake, the U.S. government has the power to exert massive indirect control over speech and political discourse through social networks. And anyone who argues that Alex Jones is some kind of special case obviously has not been paying attention. Uh, Jones is simply an easy target, a good high profile test case, so to speak. So, you know, we already know through the spirit, okay? And we've always been saying this though, that this guy is set up, man, you know? And this is their test run, okay? Um, for them to create this narrative. Okay, about uh, so-called hate speech. You know, anything that, that that's of truth is uh, going to be deemed as hate speech. Okay, so this is the uh, fall guy here. All right, which was set up. Okay, um, he is actually um, their pawn. Okay, all right, and you know, Esau is very uh, 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 deceitful. You know, and this is the thing, right? It says our. Uh, 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 basically, right, it says, remember, conspiracy theories are just fine if it targets are deemed acceptable by the establishment, you know, and they have, they, they have the audacity to say that it, it tears the moral fiber of this country, okay, first of all, we already know that this country doesn't have any morals, okay, all right, Babylon does not have any standards, okay, all right, this is our, our dude, I will spirit and, 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 and everything goes, you know, um, I want to get a couple of scriptures real quick. Um, let's see. First scripture I'm going to grab is um, let's go with Second Thessalonians, chapter three. Let's start the first chapter. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified, even as it is with you. You know. That we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith. You know, and I bring this scripture out first is because this word um, is the Lord said that this word will not return unto me void. But it's going to do all his pleasure. It's going to accomplish all of his pleasure. So, like I said, we, we, we pray that, you know, um, um, that, that it, of, it, of course is to be true. But we pray to the Lord that the word of the Lord has free course, man, to where, you know, um. Uh, Whatever's going on as far as what Esau is doing, as far as with the internet, okay, all right, which uh, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh created, okay, all right, for us to, uh, for, for this word to get out, but that free course, man, to where the elect is, is still going to be woken up, man, you know, and um, um, the brother from um, um, South Carolina, he, um, he made a good point, man, you know, he was saying that, uh, uh, you know, we got to uh, take advantage, man, of, of this internet while we can, you know, and the basically, uh, especially brothers that get a lot of comments on their, 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 on their channels, you know, brothers that got, uh, that are doing uh, good works that are, uh, you know, they have a lot of subscribers and get a lot of uh, uh, comments on their channels to basically 
you know, sanitize, sanitize your, your, your comment board, man, of the, of these gainsayers, man, you know, and everything that should be put up on the comment board should only be of edification, you know, like these, uh, these, these scoffers and scorners, you know, and these agents and, and, and non-believers, you know, their comments should not even be seen the light of day, man, because everybody got their own vain opinion, man, with this truth, man, and this truth is, 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 is to be, uh, to turn your, uh, comic board into to a classroom so to speak you know so nothing but edification should be on a comic board you know through the spirit you know so all of these people with their own vain opinions man those all those comments need to be taken down man and in any way we can be able to edify and uh, um, through our videos and if somebody comes up with a sincere question on a comic board for it to be answered and edified without any interruption man free course man you know because uh we have to take advantage of, of, of this platform that we have, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai while we can, you know, you see, right? Next scripture. Let's get uh, Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 1. Uh, it's like here, 2, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it, man. And, and this is one of the platforms that we have. You know, and we make this word playing upon tables when we out there on the highways and hedges. And uh, now that we kicked it into overdrive, you know, we're doing uh, um, at least three shows a week. You know, we on it. We on the Internet, man, because the Lord set this Internet up for us to be uh, uh, to, to wake up the uh, hopeful elect, you know. And, you know, again, I'm going to keep on saying it, man. The comic board should be a classroom, you know, um, nothing but edification going out and, and anything that's negative. Uh, uh, that's coming in, uh, into our our realm as far as negative uh, 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 content should be uh, wiped out. You know, it should be erased. It shouldn't see the light of day. You know, right? Verse three: For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it surely it will surely come. It will not tarry. You know, and we know that these words are not going to tell. We see the prophecies rolling, you know, and, and, and the apostle deemed it, you know, he coined it. OK, you know, this is the year of prophecy. So we have a lot of these prophecies rolling and, and, and especially as we kicked it into high drive, you know, you know, and, um, you know, like I said, man, you know, this uh, uh, this word, man, has to have free course, man, you know. All right. And we have to take advantage of it, you know, real quick. Let me get um. Let me get Isaiah chapter 29 and let's see. I'm going to start at 9. Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. You know, and this is, you know, referring to our people, man. You know, these people, these non-believers, man. You know, we ain't got no time to be really going back and forth with these people, man. My thing is, is that if you don't believe that that's it, you know, but if we can get some edification to, to, to turn it into ed edification, though, but the uh, comments, you know, and the, and the confusion that's being caused on a comment board, man, should not even see the light of day, man. You know, you know, these these people are, are that come up against this truth, man, are, are unstable, man. They stagger, man. You know, they stagger with the philosophies of America, man. You know, they're, they're, they're uh, uh, lobbying for Esau, man. You know, that's the way we have to look at it, man. You see, you know, anybody that comes up against this truth, you're basically lobbying, lobbying for Esau, man. Well, Esau don't give a damn about you. You see, right? Verse 10. For Yahweh have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and have closed your eyes. The prophets, your rulers, the seers had, had he covered, man. And, and these people are blind, man. They can't see what the hell is going on, man. You know, even these guys that that they acknowledge that they, they they of Israel, they're still blind. You know, okay? Because these people don't understand the depths of Satan, man. You see, that's the main that's the main problem. You know, you see, but they're in in a deep sleep. Well, um, two thirds of them, man. You know, right? Verse eleven, 
and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to, to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. So you have the wisdom of this world, you know, okay, all right, uh, some, somebody that is so-called learned, okay, cannot get the understanding of this book, man, because it's, it's sealed unto them, man. You see, you know, all right, this truth is not for uh, 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 everybody, you see, you know, and when you have people that come up against this truth, man, they come up against this truth with their vain opinion, man, not script, not, not with scriptures, you see, right? Verse 12, and the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this, I pray thee, and he saith, I am not learned. And the majority of these people that are jumping out on a comment board with the emotions, man, are not learned, man. They're not learned people, man. You see? You know? But because when you really question about what it is that, that they believe in, who who taught them that? You know? That's the question that has that we have to start asking them. You know? When they when they go off on, on, on the, the, the true doctrine, it's like, okay, who taught you that? You know? You know, you like to get a, a response from that. You see? You know? Because it's it's like it's like it's like a um Old, uh, like an old uh, 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 religious fable, man. That they that they pass down, man. And they and they and they believe in it in their heart, man. You see, right, right. Wherefore, the Lord say say, for so much as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, and that's what these these so called plantation Christians do, you know, all right. With their mouth, though they do honor honor the Lord, right, but have removed their heart far from me. And their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men, you know. And when you have the fear of the Lord that's taught by the precept of men, what is that? That 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 God is all love, you know. The Lord wants you to fear Him, you know. Okay, all right. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, all right. And that's and, and that's scripture, okay, all right. So don't come up um um on these comment boards, man, with your 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 that that those precept of men, okay. That that basically that uh. Somebody that's uh, not learned taught you, man, which is part of that, that, that Christian doctrine, man. You see, you know, right? Therefore, behold, I will, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid, man. You know, and we coming into that time, man, you know. To where you know you, you the people that of the wisdom of this world, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be brought to naught, man. You know, right? Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and their works are in the dark, and they say, "Who seeth us, or who knoweth us, man?" You know, and that goes to two thirds of you wicked uh, uh, Jakes out there, man, and you um Esau Edom, man. Which he's trying to create this narrative, okay, with the censorship of, of so-called uh, 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 anything that, that, that goes against uh, 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 wickedness, you know, or, or, or anything that's for truth, man, is considered hate, man. You see? Right? Because it, it gets into it. Verse 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For, for shall the work say of him that made it? He made me not, or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he have no understanding? You see? So, you know, this, you got to understand that this Esau is just a man, okay? All right? So he thinks he's the most high, man. So he thinks that he's going to try to stop this word, man, okay? All right, ultimately, you know, the Lord is, is um, has his man on, on, on some puppet strings, okay? You know? But um, he 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 actually believes, man, that he's the Most High, man. He actually believes that uh, uh um he is the end all be all, man. You know, okay. He's trying to interrupt. He's trying to stop prophecy from happening. You see, you know, all right. Verse seventeen, is it not yet a little while, and Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field, and the and the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest. You know, and that's the Lord doing His marvelous work, man, and, and bringing in that kingdom. You know, right, right, and in that day shall a deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. You know, right, because this whole truth, man, is, is gonna uh, 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 um about to explode, man, any minute now, man. 
when they when they when they start to try to uh, um, put this to put this truth in a bad light, man. But the word is going to get out there, man. And the words and, and it says that the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness, man. Okay, so so you cannot do nothing against this truth, but for the truth. Roughly paraphrasing, man. You know, right? Verse nineteen: The meek also shall increase in their joy in Yahweh by Shem and the poor among and the poor among men shall rejoice at, of the in the holy one of Israel. For the terrible, for the terrible one, is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off, man. And it's coming into that time, man, when everybody's going to be shut down, man. Okay, all right. And this word is going to get out to who it needs to get out to, man. Point blank, period. Right, right. Verse twenty-one. That make a man an offender for a word, then that's what they do. Okay. All right, they try to make us a, 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 an offender for the word, man, and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate, man. And they try to lay these snares on us, man. You see? All right, all right. They try to uh, uh, turn these words against us, man. You see? You know? Right? And turn aside the just for a thing to naught, you know? And just like how um you have any and these anchor men and women, these anchor people. They're a bunch of actors, you know, because when you had that damn, uh, 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 that woman devil, uh, talk about on CNN, I forget her name, it, it escapes, it escapes me right now, you know, just the, the, just the look on her face, you know, oh, well, yeah, he's talking about 9-11 was a inside job and the way she was saying it's like, oh, like this guy's like a nut job talking about Alex Jones, you know, you see? You know, but they have it to where they have uh, uh, even even what they're going to do the same thing with us, man. You know, they're going to turn aside the just man for a thing of not for a thing of not, man. You know, you see. Right. And in fact, I'm going to stay in Isaiah next scripture. Right. Is um Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise Against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai, and their righteousness is of me, saith Yahweh. Okay, so there's no weapon that's formed against us that's gonna prosper, man. Okay, so now you trying to stop this word, you trying to uh, um, put that slander out there. Okay, it's not gonna prosper, man. And every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment, we're gonna condemn, man. Okay, through, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai. You see, you know, because, uh, you know, hey, man, we, we got to take full advantage of, of, of what it is that the Lord gave us, you know, all right, with these talents and uh, even with the uh, our our, our uh, uh, um, perspective pages, you know, especially with brothers that got uh, they get a lot of comments on the, on the comment board, man, you know, all right. All of those negative comments, man, got to be shut down. Brothers gotta, you know, to the spirit, Baba Kasha, you know, just go and just, just, uh, uh, just, just, just go and, and uh, uh, um, sanitize those, those, those negative comments, man, and just keep up the positive ones, man, up with scriptures and, and edifying, man, and turn your, your comment board into a classroom, man, you know, because that, that, that's what we have to do right now, you see, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you know, so with that. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar, Kodash, Barakatham. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessing to the Akim that's doing his work in truth and sincerity. Shalom.